hello and welcome to this affinity designer tutorial and before I get on with the tutorial I do want to name check somebody else's tutorial and that is one by the seventh season studio which is using textures in affinity designer and it, this is the tutorial that gave me the idea for what I'm about to do there is also some free textures that you can download if you open up the description for this there is a link to download some of the textures that are made in this but I will add a link to this video in my video now if I go to Affinity Photo I just want to show you recently on my Facebook group fans of Serif Software I gave a link to some free styles that I made using this idea um, called Design the Crops and I will add a link so you can download these eight different styles um, but I thought why not sort of take it a bit st further and make a tutorial showing you how I did them mainly because that video by 7th Season Studio taught me something about using the crop tool in Designer which I never fully understood I couldn't whenever I use designer which I admit is not very often I could never quite work out how the crop tool worked because if you use the crop tool in photo it makes sense to me I can alter the crop size you can even use the crop size you know alter it from up here or pick a size that you want to use all sorts of different things that you can do. Now the only problem here is if I cancel that a second so this is the original picture here and as it tells you up here it's 3061 by 2289 pixels. If you use the crop tool and say I just want none of the background and just the inside of this and that is the area that I want to use and I double click on that and the size will now drop down to 1148 by 994 now that's not that you can't use this to make styles you, know, you could quite easily or and or textures like they did in the other video but so I understand how the crop tool works in photo. I didn't quite understand how it worked in designer. So if I come to designer, and this is obviously the same picture, and if you come to the vector crop tool, you don't get any of the options up here to pick a size and what have you. And if you sort of alter this, you can see the background and I couldn't quite work out what was going on let me just put this back to where it was now the thing to here is I'm going to unlock this you could either duplicate the layer or whatever I'm going to unlock it so we can make alterations the thing is with the vector crop tool is that once you start moving it it will add a layer to the background layer and this is sort of like another background sort of thing. So I'm going to alter this like I did in photo. And once I let go of this button here, as you can see, it automatically adds another layer, which it doesn't do in photo. So I'll bring this in. Get, make sure I haven't got any of that white background. So that is the area that I want now this is the reason why I had to unlock this layer if I now come to the move tool and I can bring this up the top here I can now resize just that area to fill up that whole space so it would still be the same size that the original picture was but it is just of that section now, as far as I can, uh, it doesn't work so well with like drawings or whatever because they will pixelate a bit more but photographs it doesn't seem to pixelate so much when you increase the size like this 
So I thought, so this is how the chap in the first video, he would make a texture of this, which you can do quite easily. But I thought I'd take it one step further and make a style of it. Now, to do a style, I will need to save this as an image. So I will export this as a JPEG. And as you can see, I've already got some here. But let me just alter the name slightly and save that as fossil. So I can close that now if I wanted to because I don't need that anymore. I'm going to come back to this picture in a minute. And let's have a look at the styles. This is the second set of styles that I've been making and I'm going to make these available when I've finished. But we need to make a new style. There are plenty of videos out there and I've made a couple about how to make styles and how to make categories but basically you can click on this menu, add a category and then start adding styles to that as you want. So to make a style quickly I'm going to start a new document and you can make this sort of any size that you want but I'm going to, I stick with like 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. That's just the way it I like to work but that so once you have this new document I'm going to add a rectangle by the rectangle tool fill the area and then select the fill tool and at the moment it is displaying solid because that's what it this is but I'm going to click on the menu come down to bitmap and then you need to navigate to where you saved that image so that image was fossil and as you can see it doesn't quite fit this image quite so well so what I need to do is just I'll hold down the shift key to keep it straight and raise that up to there and once I have it where I want it I'll just right click and click on create style wait a little bit and that style will be added so I'll just right click that style, rename it, and we'll call this a fossil. So that is sort of fairly how, how easy that is to do. So I'll come to another one here where I want some of this owl's feathers. So I need to come back to layers, unlock it so I can alter it, come to the vector crop tool and then just get as much as this as I can without having any of the background. I think that will do come to the move tool Put that there. stretch this out let's put it like that and then save that or export it I should say call this owl come back to this fossil image that I have here but again just click on the menu come back down to bitmap and select the image that you want and it will change and just stretch that out right click create style and that style is now there so I rename that Our feathers right so I don't need this one and this last one here again come to layers unlock it and it's the white wall that I want what went wrong there oh I need to be on the crop tool That's so just trying to get 
that white wall like that. Come to the move tool. And what I will do, I will also, I think I'll just try and brighten that up a tad. So let's. Get some of that texture as well. Right, and I'll close that down. So there was a few loose strands there, but it's only for demonstration purposes. So I'll leave that there and export. Call this wall. And I can now delete that. And for the last time on here, just come to that, click on bitmap, and then on wall. Here we go. So right click, create style, and then I'll rename the style. Okay, so basically that is how using the vector crop tool you can make some styles in Affinity Designer. You could just as easily do the same thing in photo but you wouldn't necessarily be able to sort of increase the size um, as well as you can in Designer. But it is doable, and once you have made these styles, they can be imported into Photo. Or if you've made them in Photo, you can import them into Designer. I know it's um, not necessarily anything new, but learning how the vector crop tool worked was new for me, so I thought I'd use this to demonstrate how that worked. So you can watch the first video that the seventh season studio people made about making textures which is very good or you can make styles like I have so thank you for watching and goodbye